Hey everybody, welcome to Clutch Trading. My name is Dylan Cook, also known as Dr. Clutch, and I am here to guide you through all things option trading on your journey to success. Today, I wanna to show you something that I use quite often on Thinkorswim, which is the multi time frame watch list. And what this does is it combines the strat with your watch list column built into the side of Thinkorswim so that you can find actionable signals without actually having to look at any of the charts itself. If that sounds interesting to you, please like this video, subscribe for more, and make sure to leave a comment saying what your favorite part is, what you plan on using this for, and any questions of anything that you might want me to cover in the future. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So first things first, we're going to start off in Thinkorswim, and you're going to come right over to this sidebar with this little arrow where my mouse is now and you're going to open that up and we can see that we have the watch list here now the watch list is built into the side it's most likely going to be one of the defaults that you have set if for some reason you don't see it you can hit this plus side add the watch list right down here at the bottom and then there you go when you are in your watch list, you can have any watch list that you have set. You can create a watch list yourself, or you could use a personal one that you already have set up in any sort of way, or just the default ones that it comes with. For now, we're going to go ahead and show you this is what it looks like default, but with the multi time frame watch list, you actually can have it look something like this. And this is going to show you actionable signals that you can possibly take by finding inside bars, by finding threes, anything that you like to trade personally, two up, two downs, two ones, three ones, threes. You just like to get in early on a three and see if it's going to be a reversal, a continuation, an inside bar after that, whatever it is to your liking, you have the ability to see it here. Once you know the strat, you know exactly what you're looking at when you see a a one, a three down, a two down, or a two up, a two up, a three down. You know exactly what you're looking at and you can interpret this really, really well. But how do I get this to actually show up on my watch list? Well, that's what I'm here to show you. So when you are here in this screen, you're going to want to notice that there's a little gear wheel right next to the ass. Now it's, it's here, it's kind of hard to see. So if you click on this, it's going to say customize. You're going to click customize. And all this stuff is the things in here that we don't really need to use. For instance, I don't use the last, I don't use net change, the bid or the ask when it comes to my watch list column. These are not things that I look at that I need for information when I want this. Instead, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and come to the lookup section look up custom, go ahead and pick any number of any blank custom that's there and select that and come to think or think script editor right here on the side. And then from here, you're going to go into the, the description at the bottom of this video, there's going to be a link to this Google Docs. So once you're here, you're going to scroll down until you see exactly what we're looking for which is the strat watch list column, the multi time frame strat, and you're going to highlight from the very top, you have to include this pound side and all these dashes right here. So that's very important. Don't miss that. So highlight here, it is a couple of pages of code. Do you need to memorize this code for anything? Not at all. Not at all. It doesn't matter. You're just going to copy and paste this all the way down to the last semicolon. So we're going to copy that and then we're going to go right back into think or swim. We're going to be here in our think script editor. We're going to highlight this and just paste in everything that we just copied. Once it's all in, we can change the time frame here on the side to anything that we desire for now. And for all sakes and purposes, I'm going to keep it as the day and I'm going to name this the day right here so that I just know it's the daily time frame and I'll hit OK. And it will change from custom to day and I will hit OK. And now we can see, boom, I have actionable signals set up in here. Now, how do I know if these are right or not, right? So if I can see SPY, it says two up, two up, two up. And sure enough, that is exactly what is going on here. Um, it is a failed two up, but still we can see that it is continuing for here. Once we look in a little closer, we can see a reversal. But let's see if we can see a one in here, right? So for at t beautiful. at t has a nice one in here. So if you wanted to trade a two on two on the daily time frame, you could. But let's say, hey, you know, I had a doctor's appointment for my kid or I went out to lunch with friends or maybe I overslept and missed the morning volume rush. I want to go ahead and do this again, but I want to use it on a smaller time frame besides just the day so I can find things enter day. All you have to do is come back to this little cog wheel right here, hit customize again, go right over and find another customization spot and simply just go right to the thinkorswim editor and paste in the code again pick your desired time frame maybe you want to do 15 minutes so for organization purposes just name it the 15 minute and that way you know exactly what you're looking at when it comes to it and say you know what no i want to add in the 30 minute as well so i can change it to the 30 minute up here at the top really easy 
think script editor, paste that in, and I'm good to go. Now I've added in a couple, but hey, one more, right? Why not add in the hour as well? So we'll just open up a blank script editor. See right there, I made the mistake of copying it on accident instead of pasting it. So all we have to do is go right back in here and copy that back. We already have it all highlighted, so it's super quick to do. And let's change this to the hour. And let's go ahead and name this hour for organization purposes so that I can find it later on if I need to. And there we go. So I have a daily 15 minute, a 30 minute, and an hour that's about to pop up in here. And now these are all pulled up for me. I can see any time frame that I desire, basically, and find an actionable signal that I like. Let's say you're somebody that likes to trade ones. Look how many ones are popping up all over the place on all over sorts of different time frames. So you have plenty of things that you can get in on, and the colors you'll be able to interpret over time. And and really, this is a really cool thing that you can use if you are somebody that is maybe missing out on some morning action, and you want to come in a little later and see when maybe an early reversal is going to happen and you like to play the consolidation with the ones one thing that you can do is you can couple the quick link here with the quick link here so if i change this to two and change this to two now anything that i click on will be changing my watch list i can use my arrow keys on my computer and just simply scroll down and work my way through my watch list and see what i can see for two two reversals right if maybe that is what i particularly like to play instead of ones and that is how you can use it. Maybe, hey, Dylan, I don't really like using the hour anymore, or I don't use the day, and I only want to use the 15 minute and 30 minute. No problem. All you have to do is come over to customize and double click the ones that you're not going to be using and hit OK. And now you're stuck with the ones that you like. You say, hey, I don't even like these. I just kind of want to go back to the way things were. We'll just load the defaults right in here, and you're good to go. Let's say, dang it, Dylan, I accidentally loaded the defaults, and I didn't mean to. So you come right over here, we get rid of them just by double clicking them, you can also click it and remove the item as well, a little slower so that's why I like the double clicking, and then you can look up anything that you've already done, right, and we've done this a couple times I already have these in here for mine, so we can add anything else that we want back in here, simply by searching what we've already named these remember that organization was key that we did earlier now that allows us to get right back to where we were moments ago. Let's say, hey, I want to actually move these around. I want my 30 minutes to be the main thing I focus on. You can click and drag it any way that you want and have these in any order that you desire. So the choice is up to you. The ball is in your court and how you use this to your liking. I hope that it makes sense to you. I hope that you're able to use this and make some good money off of it by moving more efficiently. Now, with no further ado, I'd like to invite you to something really cool with a special offer, which is our band. And before I leave this screen, if you like that, if you learn from that, if you plan on using it at all, please make sure to like this video and subscribe. It does the channel a really, really great big favor. And let me go ahead and show you the band group that we actually call our signals out in. So this is Infinite Signals. This is where I'm a signal caller in, where I make daily watch lists and even swinging watch lists for members that like to play the longer game. We have 236 members here, and we have a lot that we offer. Besides posts and giveaways of that nature, we actually have two special chats. One is just a general chat, but there's a ton of education that goes into this. People share their wins all the time, and there's always people trying to help each other out. We have new people join all the time that may be a little lost, and our other members that are very experienced and myself and the other swingers in there, the other signal callers in there, we all come through and help out. So you can see here that our chat is just full of people educating. We have Zoom meetings that we throw for members as well. Uh, people post their wins, as you can see. This has got to be pretty cool. We can see Jose. He took a play from one of our live days that we were calling it out, and he made 151%. He bought two contracts of it, so he made $282 off of that win, and that was about a two-hour play. Uh, it was a play that I called out. I held on a little bit longer for it, and I made 280% on it. So if these gains are attractive to you, these are things that we do regularly. So please, please don't sleep on the opportunity to use a 50% off code of CLUTCH, all capital letters, CLUTCH, at checkout, and then you'll have the opportunity to come into the group and follow our signals as well. And our signals come daily, and we have two daily watch lists that come out. And so myself and Jeremy, another signal caller, we put in our watch list, and then we make signals from them 
to let you know when they have hit entry. So for instance, this is what our daily watch list look like. And you can actually go back and test this yourself. We have NEO, and this is basically telling you the ticker and exactly what it is that we're trading and why it's on the watch list. It's a call, $21 is the strike price, expiration date. And it's here because it's the 212 reversal or a continuation. And then because we have it's a 2 1, we know it can go either way. And then because of that, we have entry prices, price targets, and stop losses set for you on all of these on the watch list down to the penny. And it is so beautiful watching these things take out price target after price target and then rejecting off of them. We have so much risk management that we teach within the group. And I'd love for you to actually join and get to learning as well so that you can be one of our winning members out of our 236. If you enjoyed any of that, Please again, like and subscribe. Go to the links in the description for the Google Docs, for the indicators, as well as the link and the code for the Infinite Signals group. And I will see you there on the other side. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. You'll have a beautiful rest of the day.